Thank you so much for uh, this opportunity to uh, speak to everybody who is here uh, today. There are a lot of things that we have learned from uh, Dr. Nelson Mandela. We have learned that this man, he was a visionary. This man, he was a statesman. He was a great icon. He was a great motivation to most of us. I was so privileged to have met him several times uh, when he was still uh, active. And I had an opportunity to take some pictures with him, memorable uh, uh, pictures that I still treasure even today. I was so fortunate also to visit his jail in Robben Island to see where he was for all those many years. This man, he taught us uh, true forgiveness. We learned how to forgive uh, from him. We learned how to forgive our enemies, the people who have done us wrong from him. But there is one thing that I have learned from him that has stuck in my life uh, since I learned from him. He was a man of purpose. He knew what he wanted. He knew why he was born. And he stuck to his purpose for all those many years. He knew why he existed. He knew why he is here. And I want to say this to all of us who are here. All of us, we have a purpose. There is nobody who is born without a purpose. All of us, there is a reason why we are here. This man, he was always happy. He was always jolly. He was always, you know, having a lot of full of jokes and, and laughter. Why? It's because he was living and working in his purpose. You know, if you walk in your purpose, you will enjoy what you are doing. There is a reason why sometimes most of us are not happy with life. That's why most of us, we feel broken in life. You know, it's like when you have a, a guitar. A guitar is used to play very nice melodious music that everybody can enjoy. But instead of using the guitar to play music, then when somebody asks you to maybe to dig a hole, instead of using a spade to dig the hole, you put the spade aside and you take that very nice guitar and try to dig a hole with it. What's going to happen with that guitar? It's going to be broken. Why? Because it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. It's not saving its purpose. It's not fulfilling its purpose. And that's the reason most of us in life today, we are broken. Most of us today, we live a life without joy, a life without happiness. Why? Because we are doing what we are not supposed to do. This man, he did and he enjoyed what he was doing. He enjoyed standing for people. He enjoyed standing for righteousness. He enjoyed doing what he was born to do. My challenge to all of us is, let's discover our purpose and walk in it. Let's discover our purpose and do what we are born to do. You know, it's like when you have a, a computer. When you buy a laptop or you buy a cell phone or you buy a tablet, inside the box it comes with a, a manual. That manual, it contains the mindset of the manufacturer. The person who manufactured that, uh, that item is saying to you, I may never get an opportunity to meet you or talk to you about this cell phone. Or talk to you about this tablet. But here is the manual. It has the mindset. It will tell you why I manufactured this item. And how you should use it. What I'm trying to say is. The purpose of a thing. It's with the manufacturer. The purpose of any item. It's with the manufacturer. Your purpose will not be found from your teachers. Your purpose will not be found from your friends. You will only discover your purpose from your manufacturer. And that is God. It's only God who manufactured Mandela. It's only God who manufactured you. And that manufacturer, he keeps saying, Come back to me and I will tell you what's your purpose. Because most people, they live without a purpose. Most people, they live without a direction. Most people, they live without knowing. Actually, why are they here? Why are they born? Nobody will tell you a purpose except God Himself. And let me say this in closure. 
If the purpose of a thing is not known, abuse cannot be avoided. What I'm trying to say is, if you don't have a purpose, if you don't know your purpose, you will abuse yourself. You will abuse yourself with alcohol. You will abuse yourself with drugs. You will abuse yourself with all the different kind of behaviors that are not good and healthy for you. Why? It's because you don't know your purpose. And my advice to you is, discover your purpose. You will enjoy life like Nelson Mandela did. Discover your purpose. Then you will start to live in your purpose. And you will know why you are born. You will know why you are still breathing today. You will know why you are here. And once you discover your purpose and you start living in your purpose, life becomes enjoyable. And I want to say this to you. Anybody who has not yet discovered their purpose, they will never enjoy life. They will try everything to fulfill that. And unfortunately, because it's not your purpose, you will never enjoy life. Life is only enjoyable when we walk in our purpose. Mandela knew his purpose. Mandela knew his agenda. Mandela knew why, why he was here. And that's why we are celebrating his life today. And I want to say this to you. Ask God to help you discover your purpose. Because he is your manufacturer. Thank you. And have a nice day.